What's this stuff? Investigators wonder if recovered parts from the horizontal stabilizer of Flight 261 can provide clues about why it failed. It's some kind of metal. What they see is puzzling. We saw this, this little thin piece of metal that we thought looked like a slinky. That really struck us as something very odd. Why isn't the nut attached to the jack screw? Normally, the lower end of the jack screw is threaded through an Acme nut. When we looked at that and saw that the jack screw wasn't part of the Acme nut, we asked ourselves, how can that happen? That really just blew our mind. The jack screw and the Acme nut were found a few feet apart. They must have separated mid-flight. Threads an eighth of an inch thick inside the nut should hold it securely to the jack screw. Look at this. There's something unusual about the nut. Incredible. It's completely stripped. When we finally looked inside the Acme nut, it revealed that there were no threads inside of it. Let's talk to metallurgy. It was shocking and stunning to us to see something like this. No one thought that you could get those thick threads to rip out. Interesting. Metallurgist Joe Epperson examines the stripped nut and the jack screw. It became immediately apparent that what we were looking at was actually the remainder of the threads that were inside the nut. Looks like the jack screw stripped the threads of the Acme nut. The next step in the process was to figure out how the threads were reduced to such an extreme degree and then stripped out of the nut. There's some grease here on the bottom. The team studies residue observable on the jack screw. The way to prevent wear is by lubrication with grease. And in, in the case of a, an extreme wear event, you want to look at, is there grease where it's supposed to be? And there's some here at the top. In flight, the jack screw rotates inside the nut. To prevent wear, it needs to be lubricated regularly. There should be more grease here in the middle. Uh, that's the working area where it rotates the most. When we first looked at the jack screw, there was very minimal signs that there was any grease on it at all. It was in the ocean for a week. Did the water wash the grease away? Nah, I don't think so. Grease doesn't wash off that easily. We did find a little bit of a remnant of a grease at the very upper end and at the very lower end. It was very easy to conclude that being in the ocean had not washed away the grease from the working area of the check screw. 